human eye and working of its lens. There is a very thin transparent cover membrane on the human eye. This is called cornea. Light enters the eye through it. Maximum amount of incident light is refracted inside the eye at the outer surface of the cornea. There is a dark fleshy screen behind the cornea. This is called the iris. The color of the iris is different for different people. There is a small hole of changing diameter at the center of the iris which is called the pupil. The pupil controls the amount of light entering the eye. If the light falling on the eye is too bright, pupil contracts while if the light is dim, it widens. On the surface of the iris, there is bulge of transparent layers. There is a double convex transparent crystalline lens just behind the pupil. The lens provides small adjustments of the focal length to focus the image. This lens creates real and inverted image of an object on the screen inside the eye. The screen is made of light sensitive cells and is called the retina. These cells get excited when light falls on them and generate electric signals. These signals are conveyed to the brain through optic nerve. Later, the brain analyzes these signals and converts them in such a way that we perceive the objects as they actually are. While seeing objects at large, infinite distances, the lens of the eye becomes flat and its focal length increases as shown in part A of the figure. While seeing nearby objects, the lens becomes more rounded and its focal length decreases as shown in part B of the figure. This way we can see objects clearly irrespective of their distance. The capacity of the lens to change its focal length as per need is called its power of accommodation. Although the elastic lens can change its focal length to increase or decrease it, it cannot do so beyond a limit. The minimum distance of an object from a normal eye at which it is clearly visible without stress on the eye is called as minimum distance of distinct vision. The position of the object at this distance is called the near point of the eye for a normal human eye. The near point is at 25 cm. The farthest distance of an object from a human eye at which it is clearly visible without stress on the eye is called the farthest distance of distinct vision. The position of the object at this distance is called the far point of the eye. For a normal human eye, the far point is at infinity. Do you know the eyeball is approximately spherical and has a diameter of about 2.4 cm? The working of the lens in human eye is extremely important. The lens can change its focal length to adjust and see objects at different distances. In a relaxed state, the focal length of healthy eyes is 2 cm. The other focus of the eye is on the retina. Try this. 1. Try to read a book keeping it very far from your eyes. 2. Try to read a book keeping it very close to your eyes. 3. Try to read a book keeping it at a distance of 25 cm from your eyes. At which time you see the alphabets clearly and why? Answer. Defects of vision and they are corrections. Some people cannot see things clearly due to loss of accommodation power of the lenses in their eyes. Because of defective refraction by the lenses, their vision becomes faint and fuzzy. In general, there are three types of refraction defects. 1. Nearsightedness, myopia. In this case, the eye can see nearby objects clearly, but the distant objects appear indistinct. This means that the far point of the eye is not at infinity, but shifts closer to the eye. In nearsightedness, the image of a distant object forms in front of the retina. There are two reasons for this defect. One, the curvature of the cornea and the eye lens increases. The muscles near the lens cannot relax so that the converging power of the lens remains large. 2. The eyeball elongates 
so that the distance between the lens and the retina increases. This defect can be corrected by using spectacles with concave lens of proper focal length. This lens diverge the incident rays and these diverged rays can be converged by the lens in the eye to form the image on the retina. The focal length of concave lens is negative, so a lens with negative power is required for correcting nearsightedness. The power of the lens is different for different eyes depending on the magnitude of their nearsightedness. 2. Farsightedness or hypermetropia in this defect, the human eye can see distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects distinctly. This means that the near point of the eye is no longer at 25 cm but shifts farther away. The images of nearby objects get formed behind the retina. There are two reasons for farsightedness. One, the curvature of the cornea and the eye lens decreases so that the converging power of the lens becomes less. 2. Due to the flattening of the eyeball, the distance between the lens and the retina decreases. This defect can be corrected by using a convex lens with proper focal length. This lens converge the incident rays before they reach the lens. The lens then converge them to form the image on the retina. The focal length of a convex lens is positive, thus the spectacles used to correct farsightedness has positive power. The power of these lenses is different depending on the extent of farsightedness. 3. Presbyopia Generally, the focusing power of the eye lens decreases with age. The muscles near the lens lose their ability to change the focal length of the lens. The near point of the lens shifts farther from the eye. Because of this, old people cannot see nearby objects clearly. Sometimes people suffer from nearsightedness as well as farsightedness. In such a case, bifocal lenses are required to correct the defect. In such lenses, the upper part is concave lens and corrects nearsightedness while the lower part is a convex lens which corrects the farsightedness. Apparent size of an object. Consider two objects PQ and P1Q1 having same size but kept at different distances from an eye as shown. As the angle alpha subtended by PQ at the eye is larger than the angle beta subtended by P1Q1 PQ appears bigger than P1Q1. Thus, the apparent size of an object depends on the angle subtended by the object at the eye. Use your brain power. 1. Why do we have to bring a small object near the eyes in order to see it clearly? Answer. 2. If we bring an object closer than 25 cm from the eyes, why can we not see it clearly even though it subtends a bigger angle at the eye? 2. If we bring an object closer than 25 cm from the eyes, why can we not see it clearly even though it subtends a bigger angle at the eye? 